Hey everybody, welcome back. It is the uh, Monday after the Resurrection Sunday weekend, and hope you all had a great weekend. I know I did. Spent a lot of time with family, and uh, got to work on work on some knives a little bit. Uh, if you want to see that, check out the Instagram. I'll put a link down below. Um, sorry, I'm trying not to say uh and, and pause words, so please forgive me. Anyway, today, what I've got for you is a long-term review of, of this guy right here, uh, my hat. It's a, um, there's a pause words again. i got to stop saying that. Um, I'm getting mad at myself. All right. The hat is a, a an Outback Trading Company hat. I've had several of them. I think this one's the Deer Hunter. I've had the River Guide. Uh, there's, there's a few others, but... They're all kind of in the same vein. They're all a, a waxed canvas hat, and you could easily mistake it for leather, but it's not. Uh, it's actually, I like the, the waxed canvas a little bit more than leather. I, I think it's, it's less susceptible to, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, if you call it rot, or uh, it just, it long-term seems to hold up more. I have had a leather hat. I believe that was... Uh, I'm not going to say, I don't remember the, the company name off the top of my head, but I've had one, and what happened was it, it started separating right here, and the, the leather just kind of uh, started breaking down. Now, again, I, I've loved this hat. It's uh, it's really just starting to get some character. You can kind of see right there at the the uh, the peak. You can see the, the thread starting to wear through. Um, just, again... Getting some nice kind of a little, little bit of character look. I do need to rewax it. It's it's not waterproof right now because it doesn't have a whole lot of wax in it. But it's been really great for keeping the rain off my head. Definitely for keeping the sun off my head and and uh, especially right off my ears. That burns fairly more easily than I want it to. I'll tell you that much. Uh, great for hiking. Great for just any kind of outdoor adventure and working outdoors. It's been great. However, one thing about Outback Trading Company is inside of here, they do this on all their hats. And I don't know if you can see that, but my head's got these creases in it right now. It makes me kind of look like somebody did the Dr. Frankenstein thing, cut my head open. That's because of this. Inside of here, all that elastic that they use has just started to fall apart. All of this is good. The hat itself is, is just fine. You can see it's getting a little bit of wear right there, which is to be expected. But inside this, this elastic is just garbage. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to take a uh, seam ripper and just cut this this elastic out. And you can go online. Uh, I got one from Etsy. You can There's a number of places you can buy just a replacement hat band and sew that in. So that's what I'm going to have to do. Um, it it's unfortunate. I wish they would stop doing it. Um, I had wanted to try a a Filson hat for my next one because they have one that is a a broad rim like I like. Um, most of what they have is is going to be a narrow brim, which is going to be let's say it's going to end about right there. The broad rim hat just comes out a little bit more, gives you that little extra protection. Looks a little better too, in my humble opinion. Um, but Filson, for you know whatever reason, has uh, I don't know if they discontinued it. I can't find it on their website anymore. Uh, I I got a got on their mailing list that hey send me send me an email when you get more of these in stock. Uh, got an email and I went there couldn't find any of them. So I don't know if they just pulled it from their uh, their inventory, discontinued it, what have you. But they don't they don't have in the uh, the brim. They don't have any elastic which I prefer, because obviously I don't like this. Um, and if, if anything, that is the one gripe that I have with pretty much anything, any any hat from Outback Trading Company that I've tried, is it has that, that elastic. And I think if they get rid of that, they'd have a really awesome product. I've got a good one now, but it would just, it would make it a lot more viable long term. So... Anyway, you'll probably be seeing that. I'm I'm definitely going to cut it out and uh, put a new hat band in there. We'll see if I'm going to take the time to actually video all that and, and show you. It's not it's not overly complicated. All you're all you're doing is you're going to take this one 
stitch around here and and then replace it you know stitch right back in you can use the same holes if you really care to go that detailed I will say I don't know if this one does it this way one of the hats I've had before that stitch is also what held the top of the hat to the brim so it might be that I end up needing to put all that back together too we'll find out when we get this thing apart but other than that it's been a really good hat to me and I'd kind of like to hold on to it for a little while longer it is what it is though and uh, nothing lasts forever I've, I've given some thought to trying to make my own hat just getting some canvas and and dyeing it and waxing it but that's even more work and I've got I've got I don't know a, at least a dozen projects out here in the woods more doing bladesmithing and uh, and then of course getting these videos out to you which I've been uh, uh, woefully unattentive in doing so I'm gonna wrap this one up until next time get out have fun and more more importantly than anything y'all take care of each other out there all right